Hello, good morning, and welcome back to the fish lot there out on the boat. Well, I would love to say it's a gorgeous morning, but it's not. <laughs> Quite a lot of fog this morning, We've still got a bit of sea threat, and as you can see, there is a bit of motion in the ocean. That's all part of fishing in autumn. If you only ever went fishing on the good days, you would never go fishing. What we have got at the moment is we have, uh, we're just on the back side of some springs, so that means the tides are starting to get a little bit smaller. And we're going to be fishing over an area of reef and rough ground with lures. That's going to be jigs, soft plastic lures, that type of thing. And we're fishing for pretty much anything we can find. Rass, bass, pollock, cod, anything. I'm happy to catch anything. Just trying to have a good day out on the boat. So, wish me luck. When I first got here, wind and tide together and we're just drifting a bit too fast. Drifting at like two and a half knots. So I just don't, I haven't been able to keep the lure on the bottom. So what I've done, if you can see, is I've got a drogue out just down there. And all that's doing is it's just holding me back a little bit. So the drift has slowed down now from like two and a half knots to just over one knot. So hopefully that'll that'll give me that little bit of extra time working the lures. I have had a couple of hits, a couple of hits on the lure. Now that's, um, it shows that there's fish there, but what it usually shows is it shows that they're small, like small little schooly bass, or even big mackerel will strike at a lure this size. But they're just not big enough to be take it. Like a big bass will come up and just absolutely engulf it. Well, the first fish is a little ballon ras. That lens is soaking. All happens at once, doesn't it? Finally, first decent fish. just popped out of its mouth. That is a nice reef pollock to start with.
and that was what it was caught on. That Pollock has very kindly pooped everywhere. Let's get back at it. Yeah, I'm always really glad to get the first fish aboard. Takes the pressure off a little bit, doesn't it? Now, if we didn't have that drogue out, we just wouldn't be able to do this. We're still drifting at 1.2 knots. Next to no tide at all, and we're still drifting at nearly three knots without the drum. Feels like a rat. Feels like a ras because it is a ras. Lovely looking one. Oh, easy, easy, easy. There you go. I'm down. And there is a little bar of silver. There you go. Made me work for it. Yeah, they made me work for that. <laughs> Some days they just make you work that little bit harder. A dolphin there. Don't know if you could see that in the footage. Yes! Yes! I'm happy with that. I am happy with that one.
A lovely codling. Oh, there's a lure in its mouth. Brilliant! What a result! Four species: ras, bass, pollock, codling. Oh, it's another heavy one. That's even better. <laughs> oh, yes. How about that? That is a beauty. That's a lovely bass. So, one drop codling, next drop bass. You wouldn't believe it, but I've actually been fishing for four hours now. Just finding that right part of tide on that right part of reef. And all I was doing was to just, just kept moving around a little bit, trying a different place, trying a different lure, until you find that little bit that's working. We've revived this bass in that live bait tank there. We'll get this one put back. They are a great eating fish, but I have some cod and some pollock, so I don't mind putting this one back. just goes to show about sticking it out if I could give you one piece of advice it would <laughs> I could have sacked this off I could have sacked this off hours ago and gone home because it wasn't very comfortable and it's, it's not the nicest day and the fishing wasn't great this morning but just by sticking it out just by giving it that little bit extra effort by trying that like one last cast type thing I've pulled out some fantastic fish. Always happens at once, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that. Oh, lures just popped out. That is a fantastic eating sized pollock. What a stunner! Yeah, like I said, I've been fishing for hours and had nothing really of any, <laughs> nothing really worth shouting home about. A couple of little tiny wrasse. And it's just about trying different areas. I mean, it's all the same area of reef. I'm just trying different pinnacles, different gullies, different ledges. And at the same time, trying different lures. Because fish, they can be quite fickle. If they're not fancying it at that specific point in tide or if they're not fancying that exact colour of lure they can be there and you can be dropping it right in front of the face and they're not having it <laughs> oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Another lovely codling. Yeah, a lovely feed on these. <laughs> An angry little schoolie. I've got some attitude in them, these guys, haven't they? They're covered in spines. And they really do know how to use them. Hannah wouldn't have liked it on the boat today. She wouldn't like it when it's rough. All I'm doing is this area of ground is really up and down and I'm drifting over it just bouncing, bouncing me lower, fishing near the bottom because cod, I was hoping for cod, thought it was a little bit early for him, but cod most of the time live flat on the seabed, they're right on the bottom rooting about for crabs and things. 
Pollock and Bass are slightly off the bottom, so you will catch all three. But yeah, I'm just playing the lure around down on the seabed. You might see me looking back at the sound end, but that's because if I'm coming up a rise of a of like a piece of a peak of reef, I need to know to wind in, otherwise I'm gonna snag up and lose it here. Tackle losses when you're fishing like this, they are inevitable. Just part of it. This feels like a nice fish. A very nice fish. Yes! Yes! A lovely cod. Fantastic! Well, oh, we're slopping about a bit, aren't we? There's the lure. I am made up with that. <laughs> Brilliant! I might have one more drift after this and we'll start heading back. It's starting to get a little bit sloppy. the problem about being up and down all the time. Nope. Right. I've lost four lures now. Any more than that and it's starting to get to be an expensive day. When there's that much swell like that you can't tell where you are on the bottom and you end up getting hitched up all that's happened there is as we've come down into a trough it's created slack line and the lure's sat into a crevice and lost it <laughs> yeah that leader this morning was about seven foot long now it's like two foot long <laughs> so yeah tackle losses are inevitable Get another swivel tide on there and then we'll talk about wrapping it up right i've had enough <laughs> i've tied it down i've tied a new leader onto that rod yeah, i'm just losing too many lures because because there's that much swell you just can't keep in contact with the lure and i'm hitching up in the bottom lose more than a couple of lures and it starts being a very expensive day but um, yeah turned out to be a good day especially not a massive bumblebee <laughs> the bumblebee like that big just around the boat I always wonder, I mean, I'm like a mile out at sea, that guy must be, he must be knackered. Yeah, I'm uh, over the moon with these. Had some fantastic cuddling. I'll get him dispatched in a minute. But yeah, I'm over the moon with that. Uh, all four species that I said I was going to probably catch today, which was uh, bass, wrasse, pollock, cuddling. Got all four of them. Can't complain at that. The lures I was using today was a mixture of slow jigs, uh, both little jacks and some homemade ones, and some Biscay Storm minnows and uh, sidewinder lures. So yeah, a bit of a mixture of everything. Everything caught fish, and I lost one of everything. In fact, I lost two minnows. Nothing much you can do about that though. I, it's starting to get uncomfortable out here, and I, 
I've got what I need. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed joining me. I am gonna. I'm gonna speak to Jim, and we are gonna see about doing a catch and cook with those fish. So you've got that to look forward to. I hope you've enjoyed joining me. All the very best. See you later.